Hey guys, it's Austin, and I'm excited to talk about another new product for you, and that's our Plus One Quiver. It'll attach to any bow like this, and allows you to store one arrow on your bow for those hunting scenarios, or even a 3D shoot or attack event. So let's dive into what this design is, and how you may want to uh, use it this fall, or even this summer when you're shooting tack. So what this design is, I'm holding it in my hand. This is one of the versions we have, an orange one, a green one, and a black one. Um, so they come in a little baggie just like this. They'll come with six screws or bolts. Um, so we gave you two different sizes because uh, when you bolt this on there, there's going to be an offset bracket. It's going to come literally just like this. It's going to have two flathead screws already on there, not threaded into anything. And then this flexible TPU, this green piece here, this is what the arrow snaps into. So you kind of see here, that's where it will snap right into that. And so that is already done. Like we have recessed lock nuts in here. So that's already mounted to this little offset bracket. And all you need to do is take these screws that are included, either these shorter ones that are already in there or these longer ones right here. Uh, I think these are an inch and an inch and a half, if I remember right. Um, gives you a pretty wide range because some guys that run like a Matthews bow, um, it may you may need the shorter ones. Um, guys who are like my gearhead here, I can run the longer ones or even on, uh, my Elite Z28 here, the riser is pretty thick, so the longer ones work or even the shorter ones. Um, it just depends on what your bow is and what uh, sight you're using. So for me, I'm running the dialed sight on this bow, which you can kind of see here. This offset bracket was designed specifically to fit all the different sights out there that are going to be like your dovetail sights. Um, it'll work on all like the Trophy Ridge stuff too, but if you have like an older sight, just be careful. Just know like how this mounts is it's gonna mount. Here, I'll bring it around so you can kind of see it. It's gonna mount with these two bolts here. It goes through your sight uh, mount here into your riser. So you can kind of see those two flat heads right there. And then this is already attached to the offset bracket. So you're using the bolts that hold your whole sight housing to your bow. Um, you can run it off this spot here where my quiver bracket is. I have the different the different uh, quick draw hook here that tethered cells um, the i 3d printed um, but you can run it there the nice thing about having this offset bracket is if you want to take it out in the woods this fall so like this scenario over here on my gearhead i have my um, my arrow already in there i can take my quiver and i can actually attach my quiver just like this and my uh, my plus one quiver uh, is already there i don't take it off it doesn't come I don't have to swap it in and out. So that's what's nice about this. Um, we did have a guy that posted that wanted us to design something like this because we already designed like the hip quiver. And then uh, we had another product that we had and he's like, hey, mount, make one that mounts your bow. Um, we had another guy that commented and he's also in a 3D printing that was starting to make something similar. Um, so we wanted to come up with something, but also keep it a little bit different than what was already out there. Um, so that's where the plus one comes into. Uh, it's really nice for uh, tack events. So. If I'm going to shoot at tack, I'm going to use my hip bow hanger, take my quiver off, and I'm actually going to attach it and use the arrow attached here, and then I'm going to use my hip quiver to just hold my bow on my hip. So when I get to the hunting or the next target, I'm literally just going to take this off, pop my arrow off, and then just slide it in there just like that. And then when I get done, pull it out of the target, and I can just easily snap it right back in there. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the the plus one quiver um, hopefully that was helpful like we said we have different colors right now we have this green tpu material it's very flexible obviously um, same with this orange one very flexible and then we also have a black one if you don't like colors um, so the the offset bracket's going to be either gray black or uh, orange if you get orange it's going to go with orange it's not going to go with the green and clash or black and clash so if you get black you're going to get black or gray if you get green you're going to get black or gray you get orange you're gonna get any of the three because it doesn't the offset bracket really doesn't truly matter from a color standpoint um but yeah like i like i said this is designed to hold your arrow uh, one thing i forgot to mention it fits any arrow so this is the smallest diameter arrow that i've found it's a i believe it's a four millimeter arrow and you can kind of see i already had it on my elite z28 and this is the Exodus mmt so this is a uh, 0.4 uh 4.6 is what it looks like um, but I believe this is about the high, the highest that I found that I had in my collection. Um, but it fits in here just fine. Uh, just snaps right in there. And then when I'm 
here, you take it out, I take it out. And this is the smaller diameter arrow, just like that. It doesn't slide up and down. If you do uh, find that it's not holding your arrow tight enough and you have a really small diameter arrow, what I recommend is actually taking that the bolts that are in the flexible TPU material, just give them like a half turn or a quarter turn. What that does is it kind of pulls the material in and kind of creates that little like claw kind of uh, concept. So yeah, so that's the, the plus one quiver bracket, pretty simple. Um, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below in the video. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, yeah, and stay tuned guys. We're excited always to kind of bring these videos to you and release new products. So stay tuned to our channel. We'll uh, talk to you guys later.